So it's Saturday morning of the Iditarod sled dog race here in Anchorage, Alaska. For those of you guys that don't know, the Iditarod is the longest sled dog race in the entire world where their rider has uh, just a basically a pack of dogs and it pulls them thousands of miles. It's pretty cool. We're gonna go check out the Iditarod really quick. We're not gonna actually get to see the races start because we're heading north towards the glacier up near Eureka this morning. Go do some snow machining and some camping. But uh, let's go check it out really quick. Going riding. What do you say, Tyler? I'm stoked, man. This is going to be a good day. Yep. Deep Look powder. at this. It just snowed a lot it out there. Forever. So we're heading out for the day. Should be pretty good. When we get back, get a fire going, have some beers, tell some stories, maybe watch a movie or something. We'll see. Anyway, here we go. All right. This is it. Here we go. How did you get stuck? Don't do it. Not right off the bat, go a little ways at least. I always get stuck right off the bat. Well, That's maybe you want, maybe you want this time. Oh boy! Yeah, look at that. This side of the road never looks good. Looks awesome. Yeah, no. My belt just slipped. Just from all the powder so fine, my belt just spun out, so watch out. Now nah, it's just, it's super fine snow. Deep. Yeah, this, dude, we don't need to go very far. Nope. This is like get stuck deep snow. I know. Let me uh, switch you. I'm gonna have to ride out of it. I mean, I can go down, but then it's nah, you're like, if you go down that, that's super deep. Almost got stuck in the flat. <laughs> Holy, I might be stuck already, we'll see. That's crazy, I was all, yeah, we'll have to watch it. It might be too deep. <laughs> well, it might be too deep to be trying to weave through stuff like this. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be like, definitely like, get super stuck kind of snow. The snow might change too when we get back that way a little bit. Yeah, or it might get even deeper, I don't know. <laughs> Jesus. Man. A flip up here and it just tipped over. Yup. Ah. Off to a good start. I know. I can oh. almost get it, but I can't quite get it up. Yeah, grab the middle and just uh, pull. <laughs> Here she goes. <laughs> this 
this is so deep. I know, this is what you need to do. Three sticks. I'll probably be exhausted in an hour if I get stuck too much. We're not gonna be able to climb it anything. <laughs> we don't need to go out. I know. We'll just go mess around. Blown belt already. Huh? I don't think I blew a bell. It's just loose. Oh, it's loose. Yeah. Oh, is it? Uh, I mean, is it spinning in the snow? That's what mine was doing. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. It's just gonna dry out. Like, did it shut off on its own again? No. No? No, but I'll pin it and it's hardly going sometimes. Yeah, you're getting air sucking in the powder. Yeah, I know. It's probably horrible for your engine. It's not good. It's good for it. Like, you really you don't want to, you don't want to ride too long like that. It's too much. Well, we are back at camp. The Polaris is having some issues today. Aaron actually just got this thing. It only has like 400 miles on it. She's put 100 something on it. But uh, it's really not the sled's fault though because the snow is so just aerated and fluffy and powdery that uh, whenever you kick the snow, it gets into the air, almost like someone's sneezing and it's sucking it into the air box. And that's choking the engine out whenever you pin the throttle. And it did it only once to my ski do here. But uh, the Polaris air boxes aren't quite as good, so. Anyway, this is camp. Absolutely gorgeous evening out. You guys can see the moon. It's like a full moon tonight, pretty much. And uh, hopefully we get some northern lights. It's pretty cold out, so it'd be awesome to see some lights. The valley we were gonna try to make it out to today is out that way. Pretty cool place, but the snow is literally so deep that we could barely get through the flats. Tonight. Actually go riding this up right out. Tyler's camping out. He's got a little diesel heater going in his little Astro van. And we 
we get our heater going in here too. And it looks like the Northern Lights are out tonight. That's pretty cool. Check that out. They're not super spectacular, but Northern Lights are totally out tonight. You guys can see the band up there. 